This is the Canon M50. Released in 2018, it was Canon's first 4K mirrorless camera. Sort of. You know, the M50 is often given a bit of a hard time due to its uh, lack of professional features. And I mean, let's face it, it's pretty handicapped. But today, we're going to talk about how to get a little bit more of a professional workflow out of this consumer grade tool. Let's tighten up. What's up guys, welcome back to Tight Wide Tech where we talk tech on the cheap. And today we're gonna to be talking about my weapon of choice, the Canon M50. The M50 is a bit of an enigma. It's given a hard time by creators and consumers all over because of its handicaps like a pretty severe crop in 4K and also you lose your autofocus when you switch into 4K, which basically relegates this to a 1080p camera. And while it's 1080p is really good, to be totally honest, I think that's exemplified by the fact that it's been Canon's best-selling camera for like two years now. Another big complaint that the M50 gets a lot is its lack of professional features, such as custom modes. And that's what we're gonna be discussing today. How to get a custom high frame rate mode out of your Canon M50. While you can set some custom functions to the menu buttons in the rear, one thing you can't do is set a custom high frame rate mode. This is important when you're a video shooter and you wanna be shooting at regular speeds and occasionally switch up to maybe shooting in slow motion. And you wanna be able to do it as quickly as you possibly can. For a long time, when I was shooting with my M50 and I wanted to shoot 24 frames per second and then catch something in slow motion, I'd have to go into the quick menu, change the frame rate, change my shutter speed, and it would just take forever. A lot of times, I just wouldn't even bother. But with the hack I'm gonna show you today, all that's changed. This is a piece of cake and you'll never be able to go back to shooting in any other way. For starters, you're gonna to wanna to set your Canon M50 into movie mode. When I shoot in movie mode, I typically shoot in manual exposure, which is probably the best thing for you because you wanna be able to control your exposure on your own. You don't want the camera making those sort of decisions for you. Once you're in movie mode, you're gonna to wanna to set your frame rate and your shutter speed. I like to shoot at 24 frames per second and following the 180 degree shutter rule, you're gonna to wanna to set your shutter speed to 50. That's the closest you can get to double 24 frames. If you want more information on shutter speeds and proper exposure, leave a comment down below and I'll get you a video talking about that stuff too. Now that we got our primary mode set, it's time to get into our high frame rates and how to get to them fast. You're gonna to wanna to switch your mode dial to the TV setting. TV stands for timing variant, which is Canon speak for shutter priority. Shutter priority is basically a modified automatic mode, which allows you to lock in your shutter speed, which is gonna be really important because you wanna maintain that appropriate motion blur whenever you shoot video. Once you're in this mode, you can now go into your frame rate. The M50 does shoot at 120 frames per second, but it only does it at 720p. And let's be honest, it's 2021. We ain't shooting at 720p. So we're gonna go to full HD, 60 frames per second. That's gonna give us the opportunity to slow our footage down by about 50%. In accordance with the 180 degree shutter rule, you're gonna to wanna to change your shutter speed to 125th. Again, this is gonna give us proper motion blur once we move down to our slow motion frame rates. And that's it. Now that your shutter priority is set, to your high frame rate and your movie mode is set to your primary frame rate all you have to do now is switch the mode dial from the movie to the tv setting whenever you want to go from your main frame rate to your slow motion this really comes in handy when you're a video shooter and you want to catch real life and maybe the occasional slow motion piece of footage if you're shooting a wedding or a party, even a music video. And it lets you do all that with your very affordable Canon M50. So there you have it, the most hated, most popular camera in the world. And we just made it a little bit more professional. So if you found this video helpful, do me a favor and hit the like button. It really does help a lot. And if you don't wanna miss the next video, hit the subscribe button while you're down there. And I'll get back to you in another video soon. In the meantime, be safe and be good to each other.